What's up, YouTube? Today's the day, man. We are breaking out the phony shad yet again. We're gonna try and get our first ever catch on this bait. Ryan Rigged is joining us on the action, as well as Outdoors with Chuck. They're gonna be here in just a minute. We're fishing some big fish ponds, boys, and we're gonna try and link up with one tonight. Uh, recently caught a five, maybe it was a four, five, I don't know. It was a big fish on a battle shad. We're breaking out the hard plastics tonight. Phony frogs, phony shad man, purple color, 20 pound fluorocarbon, 710 heavy swim bait rod, Tranks 201 bait caster. See if we can't catch the first fish. I'm literally just doing a one rod, one reel mission. I'm going to throw this until the sun sets. Here's Ryan Rigged right behind me. He's got a smile on his face because he sees this thing right here. He knows it's about to be a good night. We're going for PBs this evening. The man with the plan. Side note, I'm traveling very light. We got the GoPro rigged. I literally have just pliers in here. Uh, things could get trebly. We have the line cutters. Carl's bait and tackle, man. You cannot beat these. I don't care what you're cutting. They get the job done on the run. I got a scale in here in case we do catch one because I assume it's going to be a gigant, a gigantic fish. Uh, and GoPro batteries. Let's hit the water. First cast of the day. It's so clear. This looks amazing. The grass has kind of died off a little bit. I am pretty stoked to fish this for like the next two hours. Hoping for one big fish, man. I'd be happy with one. I'd be happy with one bite. This thing just looks way too good. Oh, appreciate it. I see you, man. Same here, dude. No, I'm just gonna rock this until sunset, this new one. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a shot, man. This thing's crazy. Dude, that's a good one, huh? Watch your backpack, bro. Tell me it's a five, come on now. Oh, baby. That's a good one. All right, they'll bite the moving stuff today. Hey, Charles, okay, y'all, he just caught an 11 pounder recently. Uh, I could probably even overlay the little shot of that thing. I mean, it was a behemoth. Yep. 11 pounder. He's in a whole new league. I'm surprised he still fished with us. <laughs> oh, Jesus. How are this mechorns going to fall off this tree like that? Dude, that craw should be getting munched right here. Like, look at this bottom. It just looks perfect to be popping that thing along the bottom. Yo, look at this. Oh, 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 dude. Dude. Ryan. 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 Look, two, three pounders. Ryan, two, three pounders on it. Oh my God. Bro. Ryan, go in for the kill. Dude, they almost smoked it. I should have popped it in their face. Maybe. I only got a chance or two with those. They're smart. Well, I whispered that this looks perfect. And then I, and then I, yeah, dude, right through this grass. I mean, come on. This is the spot. There's bait fish in here too. I just saw a couple of gill or something. Little gill. Dude, just got the first bite. He just like, he smacked into it. He's right here, like three pounder plus. He followed it afterwards too. If he would have just got a little further, he'd have got that hook. Dude, this one doesn't like it. He keeps chasing it. This is insane. They just side, they, they like butt into it. They, they're mad at it. Baby, first one on the phony ever, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I hit him with a little half whip on the reel. He said, nope. <laughs> yes. <laughs> first one to fall victim to the phony, man. Let's go, $150 well spent. What an absolute sick catch. I know it's only like a two and a half, but she's fat and I've had a lot of followers, man. Uh, some of them twice this size, definitely. So let's see if we can't get one of them things. It's obvious that they'll chase it and they don't like it. There she goes. Let's get us a little something bigger. Now, first thing we're going to do before we get back in the water is we are absolutely going to check the line. Absolutely make sure we're feeling straight. And look, it can be deceiving. We're feeling good. But uh, I think, honestly, that fish only got the back treble. Or maybe it was the front. I didn't pay too close attention. I was just too hyped up. But literally, uh, I don't think it even touched the line. What a catch, dude. And I bet you there's another one right there in that same area that it just beat to the punch. He was probably like, nope, that's my phony. 
Yo. No, this is uh, made in the USA. It's Phony Frogs is the company. It's a phony shad. He just makes like, I think there was maybe six to 10 available in this color when they went live. Yeah. And I just uh, got to it before a few other people. This one was 150 bucks though. If you get followers, walk down a little bit and hit it with, from like a different angle. Bring it by him like the other way. They, they, they feel something's different about the situation. How sick is that, man? It can get frustrating throwing these big baits. You could throw this for a week and not get a single bite. So to come out here, second time ever throwing it, and have so many followers and so many bass irritated with it, you'll hit the right spot and you're gonna have a couple three, four pounders. He's got him! Yo! Tiny bass. Ryan got it on the S waiver. <laughs> Is that have you caught some on glide baits before or no? That's the first glide bait. That's the yeah. first glide bait fish, dude. That's yeah, so sick. Cause you gotta get right gotta get confidence up in the big baits. And like I had no faith in glide baits until just recently. Three pounder right here. He's coming up. He's coming up. He's he's on it. He's on it. He bit it. He bit it. Oh my God, there was two. What is even going on out here? It's good that you got a different bait. Follow it up with something different. Bright color. They will smoke that thing if they're not in a good mood. Here they come. Here they come. Did you see him bite it? Did you see him bite it? He's look. Oh my God, he's on it. Jeez. Dang. I'm going to let it, I have to let it sink a little bit more. I have to hit him from... I have to hit them down low. Oh my God, one's, one's on it. And then they attract the others. Oh God, he bit it, God Did you see him? Dad gummit. That's how you break a tail right there too. You smash it against a wall, that's real good. Look at that, got my first, uh, I don't know if that was a bite or if that was when I just hit the wall, but I'm gonna call it a bite. Oh, get on, he sees it. God dang. He was on the bank and I kind of spooked him and I came right across him and he whipped at it. Not cool. No. It's like three pounds. Dang it. Working it so slow right next to that little rock wall. He probably slint. I thought I had it. That was nuts, just had another bite. No way. No, what? Dude, you found him. You found him. Ryan just went back to back on the chatterbait as soon as we switched ponds. No way. Okay, only one follower and bite over here at this pond. I'm gonna head back to the other spot, see if I can't get a couple more hits before we call it quits, man. Ha! Ryan's on with another on the chatterbait. After dark. Probably a couple more casts, I better call it because I gotta finish up today's edit. Dudes, y'all, would you believe the action that we had at this little urban neighborhood pond on these gigantic swim baits today? I mean, it was absolutely epic. I found out a couple things. Uh, the Mojo Bass Rod is like for one to four ounce baits, and the rod tip was given a little bit. I mean, this is a heavy bait. I had it rigged up on this combo yesterday, but I decided we probably shouldn't chance anything, so I broke out the Fate Black Defy Rod, which is actually rated for four to eight ounce lures. So this thing's not even gonna be breaking a sweat casting this guy right here. I can really chunk it a couple extra inches as well just to get more distance. Let's say you get a bite at the end of the cast. You can also have a little bit more loaded up from a further distance. So hopefully you're able to keep that line tight, keep those fish pinned and land those bass. This setup right here is actually a Tranks 400. A lot more line capacity, more than we need down here in Texas. But whenever we do trips, we plan on using this for stuff like musky. We might take this out to the salt water, hit some stuff out in the ocean, and have some fun with this big old power handle. But it's gonna be perfect to creep this little glide bait right here. So anyways, we've got it on a more stout combo. This is 25 pound fluorocarbon. For us, with an expensive bait like this, the reassurance is great, but doesn't mean you ain't gonna lose it. Let me tell you what, if you guys wanna see us lose this bait, because we cast it off or something, or you wanna see a giant caught on it, or you wanna see us break it, by accident. One of those things is gonna happen, man. So you absolutely gotta subscribe and hit notifications if you wanna see future videos with these swim baits. One more thing I wanna talk about before we weigh these, we're gonna save that for just a second, is uh, confidence. Like when you throw these big baits, I was thinking every cast I was gonna get a bite. I'm like, this is the one, this is the one. And they have so much drawing power. When you're fishing these things in clear water, you see those bass start to follow it. You get a lot of confidence and you, you know that the, the bass in these ponds are eating fish this size, you know that. 
especially the big ones. Yes, I caught a two and a half pounder or so in today's video. Don't let that fool you. We are gonna catch an absolute tank on this in the next few videos. Devin and I are dedicated to throwing this sucker and I do believe we're gonna link up with a giant very quick. At that same pond on this bait right here, the Battle Shad 7.5, noticeably smaller. I pulled in a five pounder, or it was four and a half or five pounds. I mentioned it at the beginning of this video. I caught that out there with Ryan rigged as well. Soft plastic creep in the bottom, a little bit different technique. I casted it out straight to the center, let it fall, and I slow rolled it. This guy right here, a little bit more careful about letting him sink to the bottom just because I don't want to get snagged on a tree or something like that and not be able to retrieve this bait when I'm fishing off the bank. Now it's on a beefier setup, so hopefully we don't jeopardize this rod. This one we bought off Facebook Marketplace. It was our first ever swim bait rod. I want to say we paid $40 for this thing. I mean, it doesn't have the best feel, it's not as light, it doesn't seem as sensitive, but really what I want is the rod not to break, and if it does, it costs a third, no, like a quarter of the price of this rod right here. I think this one was 150 the Mojo Bass, maybe even like 170 with tax, I can't recall. And so we got a little bit more peace of mind thrown in on the Defy Black Swim Bait Rod by 13 Fishing. With that said, let's go ahead and get these things weighed. Hey, psst, get away, jump. See, you'll definitely see these baits break if you stick around for sure. We got four cats. It's more than enough to tear your shit up. Sick. Okay, we made it out alive. All right, y'all. First things first. What are we looking at on length on the Battle Shad 7.5? It is a crispy about 7.5 inches. Would you guess? What are we talking about on weight, y'all? 3.1 ounces. 3.1 ounces right here, y'all, which is about what they say it is rigged. I think it might have said 3.5. I've got it with a different hook here. This is a 10 knot flashy swimmer uh, owner beast hook. So. There's that. Now for the phony with the fresh scratch mark, man. What are we talking about here? We are looking at about an eight and a half inch bait, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what we're talking about on the weight class. Oh boy. 4.5 ounces. So definitely a little heavy for the Mojo Bass and more adequate for that Defy Black swim bait rod. Interesting. There we go, man. And there you have it. Be looking out for more videos coming up with the phony shad. We're having a blast with this thing. We're trying to get our money's worth. And if you guys want to see us throw more baits like this, do us a huge favor. Drop a like on the video. Share this with somebody you know. And as these views go up, we're definitely going to be purchasing more and more big baits like this to showcase for you guys on the channel. Do a lot of testing, a lot of reviewing. Give our first impressions. Give our final thoughts and reviews on these big baits for y'all in the future because we have a ton of fun throwing them. Last thing I want to mention, man, is if you want to get into the big bait game, the fall time is a fantastic opportunity. Winter's good. You'll catch a giant, absolutely, if you're slow rolling some of these soft plastics or maybe even creeping the glides. But the thing is, fall, they're feeding up, man. They are bulking for the winter time. They know they're about to get sluggish. The water's cooling down. They get uncomfortable. They don't want to be going crazy eating in the winter time. So you got to get out there right now with these big baits while they're feeding up on fish like this that look like this, okay? Get your confidence up, catch your new PB, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. <gasps>